Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a general collective reading for all signs. This is not no specific sign, but what is your person's intentions with you and the connection between the two of you? If you're wondering if this resonates, feel free to like and comment Comment that it does resonate. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. When it comes to the collective and their person, what is the collective's person's energy? Okay, we've got holding back. I should have expressed myself better. We also have time. I'm afraid to. it's too late to take action. Absence. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. What is their true intentions? Unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. So your person is holding back from you right now. They know that they're afraid to take action because maybe it's been quite some time and they don't know what the outcome's going to be if they do try to take action towards you. Let's see what your energy is. What's the collective's energy? What is the collective's energy? Soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. So you do feel a soul connection with this person. What's the collective's energy? Detachment. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. And commitment. I want you to be a part of my future. And what's the shared energy? Reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. So you both are gaining clarity and insight and gossip. I'm afraid of what other people will think. So you both are kind of in this mindset of not sure what others will think. Not that others' opinions really matter, but both of you are thinking about that. Your person is holding back. Right now, they are feeling the absence of this connection. They're feeling the absence of you. They're looking at things a little bit differently. And they know that time is running out. They don't have much more time. They feel like they're being at like a pressure point where they really need to make a decision, but they don't know what the outcome's gonna be. They're very insecure to know how you feel. You feel like this person is somebody you have a soul contract with, somebody that you have not fully let go of, somebody that you know you'll never be able to replace the connection or bond you had with this person. You had hoped that there was gonna be this long-term commitment. There was gonna be something more in this connection, but you're trying to figure out how to detach because that is something that you feel like may never happen. Even though you had this strong bond with them, you didn't get the commitment that you desired. And you want them to be a part of your future, but if they're not going to give you what you desire, that's not being a part of your future. And that is forcing you into this detachment energy to focus on yourself. Now you both are in this energy of reflecting and talking to other people about what is this reflection? What is this connection to me? What is this connection to you? And that's what both of you are doing. You're reflecting and gaining the clarity of really what this connection is supposed to be. So let's take a look and see. I want to see for the collective, what is your person's true intention in this connection versus your true intention? To see, are you on the same page and what's going to be the likely outcome? What is the collective's person's intentions? Okay, we've got the Seven of Cups coming out first. We have the Death card in reverse. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. The Six of Wands, and we've got the Sun card. Okay, so even though your person is trying to keep their options open, they're trying to feel inspired that they have to keep their options open because they don't know what's gonna happen between the two of you but they are refusing to accept that it's over. They're refusing to accept that you wouldn't give them another chance. This is somebody who feels like they could stay away for a little bit, but they can't stay away much longer. This is somebody who is coming towards you with the intention of victory and success. Their ego and pride is blocking them for seeing the realization or this clarity that they're reflecting on. Because what they don't realize is the connection has weakened since the separation. There's not as much happiness. There's not as much glow. There's not as much um, pull or attraction. And that's part of the clarity that their ego and pride is blocking. That this happiness that they're reflecting upon is stuff that was in the past. Not what could be in front of them if they come towards you. So now, what is your intention? Since your person's intending to come towards you in the hopes of happiness, but 
keeping their options still open in the back pocket. What is the collective's intentions in this connection? Okay, we've got the Knight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Ten of Wands. So your intentions collective is, even though you appreciate your person's ambition to try to fix the situation, there's something about you defending your beliefs about why things ended. And in your right to do that, you're advocating that, you know what, let's just be friends. We can be friends, we can be cordial, we, we can be cool, we can still hang out. But the truth is, that this person wasn't honest with you. They held back for far too long and there's been too much distance. And that's part of your truth is that it feels like you wanted a commitment from them in the past, but you've kind of closed down the cycle of realizing that you had to detach and you're kind of in that detachment energy where it's over, it's done, and you don't want to really proceed further. So let's see what's going to happen. What's going to be the likely outcome? Because your person's coming towards you with their ego and pride at the forefront, feeling like things are not over. Even though they know that the, the connection has weakened over time, they're still keeping their options open in the back pocket. You are coming in with an energy of your intentions of defending your right to, let's just be friends. It's over. That was in the past. What's going to happen? What's the likely outcome for the collective and their person? Got the justice coming out first. Four of wands in reverse, the hierophant in reverse. One more. Judgment in reverse. You know, part of the problem is your person is gonna jump to these conclusions that they can just come back in, everything can be the way it used to be with the good old days. They're not thinking about the bad days. And the truth is there's no stability anymore. There is a lesser of a connection because so much time has passed. And you're determined to realize that you don't want this. You don't want this commitment from this person anymore because it comes with too much burden, too much pressure, too much added responsibility. And you have let that go. Even though you have a soul connection with this person, you may feel like, this person doesn't understand you, they misjudge you, they misinterpret everything you say, and you just can't seem to get on the same page. It could be a lack of respect, it could be that you have spiritually grown and this person has not. But it does look like this person will try to come towards you with keeping their options open, they may or may not tell you that. You may actually shut them down because the justice is the truth. The truth is that you don't see stability, you don't see commitment anymore, and you don't see that this person is really making the decision that would convince you otherwise in this situation, that they are committed to you. Okay, so what is the advice? When it comes to this situation for the collective, what is the advice in this situation? What is the best advice at this time? The high priestess is popping out first. Your intuition already knows what the truth is. You know what you want and what you don't want, and you know it's not gonna work with this person. You're not being blinded by this person coming in, trying to sweep you off your feet, but not telling you the truth. Universe says keep your options open. Even though this person's keeping their options open in their back pocket, there's something about if you keep your options and open, there's gonna be victory and success that's in front of you, not behind you with the past person. Universe wants you to know that you have the strength and the courage and you have the willpower already determined to go towards victory and success with somebody who wants to commit to you. There's something about you don't even have to entertain this conversation, especially since you really didn't want to be friends. You just threw that out there just to suffice the situation, but you really don't want to work things out with this person. So just be able to be really strong within your right of knowing exactly what you want. Listen to your intuition. If your intuition says don't answer that phone call, don't respond to that text message because it's a rabbit hole, then just don't do that. And just continue to keep your options open and you'll be victory and victorious and successful from that. Okay, that is what I have for you, Collective. I do want to thank you for watching this video. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. And if you could please like and comment the video, I would appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.